in today's video i'm going to show you how to include dependencies in your angular js app okay so this dependencies will help you do several things uh, it will enhance it is going to enhance the functionality of your application so in this tutorial i will be including the toaster dependency in my angular js app that i had already created in the previous videos in this tutorial series so um, i'll show you the steps to what are the steps necessary to get it done so first of all i'll open my project folder and in the project folder i'll go to my index file okay so we do not need to make any much changes so yeah i'm going to go to my index dot uh, js file so i will show you the all the steps to include the toaster dependency in the angular js app okay so then you can show really cool toaster messages using this okay so now on google i have searched for angular js toaster so the first thing that i get is this jerry kavi okay so i'm i'll include this toaster in my app okay so let me see if this one is the one that i am looking okay so I, i don't want this toaster i'll go to the other one this is the other toaster created by some other person okay so this is the toaster that i am looking for okay so you can see the installation uh is simple so we can use the cdn files that are listed over here to use a cdn you can list to this these two uh, files in your project so what you have got to do is copy this and then go to the html folder in brackets go to the html file and then where you have included angular js just below that you need to and between your index.js you need to include this the cdn okay you can download it locally and then use the files locally so that um you um it will be much easier and sometimes you won't get unnecessary errors so if it is done locally it is much more safer so then the next step is to include the thing in the app include the dependencies so let us see what has to be done exactly okay so they are just showing us the steps how it has to be done um so now i'm going to include the angular animate and the toaster dependencies okay we might need to include the angular animate as well because that is also it it is looking as if they have included that too in the project okay okay so now i am including the angular animate in my project okay so that too is important to be included in the project so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press control d and then paste my code here the cdn for angular animate so let us include angular animate just before the we load the tip the toaster scripts okay okay so it seems like as if we have included all the files okay so let us go to the website again and see what if anything else is remaining um i have included these two files i have included ng animate and toaster so now the next step we need to do is we need to include toaster in our app or website so here's my controller so i'm going to include the toaster variable okay so now the next step is to include the toaster messages for testing purpose
Okay, so now let me load the page and check whether it's working. I'm going to press this icon. Okay, so it seems that there's some problem. Let me go to the desktop and open my project. Open with Chrome. So you see that the toaster is message has come over here. Okay, toaster is fun. You can even try for error messages. If you want to show error messages or if you want to show info messages, you can use this. This is for info message, okay, by the way. So let me try reloading the page. Now you'll get a blue toaster message. Let's see what happens. Information. So we are loading the information right now. Similarly, I'm going to show you the other things like how is the error message shown. I'm copy pasting this in my app. Okay, so we have a success info and there is a warning as well. So trying the warning also. Okay, so let's refresh the page once again to see the latest changes. Okay, so you see that there are all different types of toasters. So these toasters can be useful in showing messages in your app in a very elegant way. So I hope this video tutorial was useful to you in some way. So thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned for more updates and keep watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Bye bye and take care. See you guys in the next video.